three and a half? Yep. From here to the bridge in three and a half minutes. Three and a half. Without spilling any of those bottles. That's the bet. You can't do it. Hell, I can do it in three minutes. Oh, you cocky son of a bitch. Ten bucks says you can. Twenty-five says I can. Where'd you get twenty-five bucks? Turkey shoot. Okay, deal. But just for the hell of it, why don't we add in the old phone book, too? Ooh, the old phone book, huh? Cousin, I could do this with my eyes closed. Oh, really? Open or close, don't matter to me. <laughs> this crap anyway. Eh, maybe he's getting the bridge ready before the rally. Rally doesn't even go anywhere near here. Damn. Here I break Billy Prickett's record. I got to do it in a dinged up car. Easy, champ. You ain't done nothing yet. Yeah, I have four in a row. I intend on making it five. Mr. Miller! Mr. Miller! Guess he didn't pay his mortgage. Yeah, that's strange. Yeah, let's go. I'm already tired of walking. You could use a little exercise. Them jeans of yours start to look tighter than daisies. Oh, yeah. I bet you a cold beer I could beat you in the boar's nest. That's five miles. You scared? No, I'm hungover. <laughs> Oh, boy, let's get out of here. My, my, my. Is this little Daisy Duke? Man, you go away for four years and the crops really do come in. You are prettier than a Hazard County sunset. What can I get you, Mr. Prickett? Well, for starters, you can call me Billy. <laughs> Daisy! Hi, boys. Daisy, will you ask Ian's why it's a bad time to be in the moonshine business? But we're not in the moonshine business. I know, we established that. Anus, 
Why is it a bad time to be in the moonshine business? Look, Daisy, now I really can't. Come on, Amos. The boss hogs cracking down on moonshiners. Oh, God, I've had a nickel for every time I heard that. Holy hell, Luke. There he is, right there. Get I buy him a drink. Maybe you should buy him flowers and a box of chocolates. There he is! Billy Frickett! Welcome home, son. <laughs> well, it seems just like old times. <laughs> <laughs> well, what would a rally be without hazards? David, son. What can I say? You made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Let's get out of this rubble and have a little sip of whiskey and talk about that little offer, okay? <clears throat> now, you know Richard Petty, the king, he and I. Look together. Can you keep a secret? Sure. Okay. You know that mustache you have? It's really a horse hair. <laughs> Take a hit off of this, Luke, and let me know what you think. I need an expert opinion there. All right. It's lemony. A little something special for the ladies, you know. In order to succeed these days, you got to diversify. You know what I mean? Whoa! Boom shakalaka! Well, well, well. To what do we owe this honor? We can just skip the high how are you's if you don't mind. I'm here on official police business. Roscoe, you wouldn't know official police business if it fell out your bra. <laughs> At least I'm wearing one. I'd be a little more inclined to mind my P's and Q's if I was you, Miss Daisy. I'm here to issue a search warrant. A search warrant? What are you searching for? Moonshine. Oh, come on, Roscoe. I know you're a little weak upstairs, but we told you a hundred times we're not moonshiners. We're simple beef farmers. Uh -huh. Of course you are. Well, I'm going to take a little look around anyway. Huh? Cletus, check the bar. Won't you come on in, then? If you're looking for what's left of your self-esteem, you ain't gonna find it in there. <laughs> hey, Roscoe, won't you do the taxpayers a real service and go clean out old Boss Hog's shit house for him? <laughs> I found something. Well, well, well. What the hell is this? Died on me. There you go. That's it. Tough running, but here we go. I'm real sorry about that. It's just kind of. There we go. There we go, boss. I'm back up here, man. Hang on, boss. Hey, Chip, this is Dale. Yeah, a huge spaceship just landed. There's little green men everywhere, man. They're trying to put things up my butt. Help me, help me. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just kidding. Seriously, anybody call for a tow truck? A what? A tow truck, man. There's one right here by the road. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> hey, Chip, this is Dale. Uh, don't worry about that truck. My bad. It was just... Uh, a couple of teenagers humping. Humping? I gotta see that. Be right there. Always keep a middle-aged security guard away. Hey, Chip, uh, hey, don't worry about these kids. They just lost. They ain't humping. I repeat, there's no humping going on here. Flash.
Well, you give me a call if you see any of them. And be careful. They're armed and dangerous. All right, Deputy, thank you. Now, Jesse, I know you're dangerous. But, honey, if you're armed, I'm dying to see where you're hiding the gun. Where's the goddamn key? Where are you going? I gotta go into town and see what's going on. They're just gonna catch you. Well, if we're gonna save the farm, we just can't sit around here drinking coffee and eating Pauline's blueberry muffins. Well, now, maybe I should go. No, we can't involve you in this any more than we already have. Well, I don't want you storming into town without some kind of a plan. You know, if I can get into town without being recognized, I know somebody who can tell us everything. Well, I might just have a couple of ideas how you can do that. Oh, and Pauline, I didn't mean to cast aspersions on your muffins. I think you've got some of the finest muffins around. Jesse, I might just have to warm some up for you. Me too, please. Oh, could you just wait till I leave? your land no more. It's mine. It's all legal, too. You see, yesterday they had an auction of seized property, and I made the highest bid for your farm. Thirty-five cents. Roscoe wanted it real bad for a quarter. I wish you could have seen the expression on his face when I whipped out that other dime. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesse, I'm going to miss this. What is this? It's... What happened, boss? Did you see him? See who? I almost forgot something. You know what, honey? You might be just riding the wrong horse. He could have had me. So you want me to go up to the courthouse then? Yes. Where the hell did she go? Went to the bathroom. Well, well how'd she get untied? You gotta go, you gotta go. I'll take care of this. Don't you move. Okay. Oh, hot dog, cuz he always good for plan B. Yep, plan B. Plan B. Plan B. Okay, let's see, uh... Everyone's at the racetrack waiting for Billy Prickett to win that race. Yeah. Is this plan B? And he ain't gonna leave that racetrack until he wins. What if he doesn't win that race? Who's gonna beat Prickett? You and the general? I like plan B. There's gonna be all kinds of media out there, and they're gonna listen to every word you guys say as long as you beat Prickett in that damn race. You can tell them all about the strip mine. Only question is, though, if you can win that race. The way the general's running, I say I got a pretty good chance of beating him. Pretty good. Pretty good. I like those odds. Play me. We're gonna need a little help on. Jesse Cooter Daisy, you out there? Yeah. There's quite a crowd, Jefferson. Yeah. All this for a little old me? All these going on. <laughs> this is about not forgetting where you come from, you know? This race is about coming back and saying thank you. Saying thank you to lovely fans like these. Come here, ladies. Come here, babies. <laughs> Want to get started? Uh, yeah, honey, could you get me a broccoli? You know how I like it. Yes, sir. <clears throat> well, let's do it. <laughs> right. Uh, Bo? 
Not to put any more pressure on you, but uh, those are state cops back there. It ain't just Roscoe and Enos. If you don't win this race, I ain't got no plan for that. We're going to prison. Do I look worried? A little. Well, the thing is, if it was just me and Prigget, it'd only be tough as hell, but these other boys might make things a bit difficult. Well, Jesse and I will help you out with that. Hey, when you get around this next bend, pull over for a second. What are you gonna do? Oh, I ain't got that figured out yet. You just make sure you win that race and get to the courthouse on time. And you think everyone will follow me? Well, if you win. If you don't, only those guys will. Then I guess I better win. Well, win, lose, or draw, we're going to prison. You just make sure we go up there heroes. Oh! And Bo, in case you find yourself in the middle of the race and uh, you're eating cricket stush and you need one little more burst of inspiration. Yeah, yeah. You remember Lloyd Sawyer? Oh man, I always had a thing for that girl. What? They ought to be coming any minute. You didn't like it? What did you put in this? Lemon? Lost sheep two to Shepherd. Come in, Shepherd. Lost sheep two to Shepherd. Hey, Luke, what is it? What's your location? Well, right behind the racetrack, about a half a mile from Preacher's Goat. Stay there. I'll pick you up. Pick me up at what? You ain't driving a car, are you? I might be. Oh, my Lord. Luke, you stop that car, you get out, you walk away. You hear me? I'll see you soon. I am not about to get in a car you're driving. Luke. Luke. You've just been way too lenient with those boys. I have just been told that the car known as the General Lee is being driven by a one Beauregard Duke, who I'm told has a rather long list of moving violations. Now, Mr. Duke is known to associate with a Lucas Duke, allegedly his cousin, who I also have been told has an even longer list of violations. Back to you, Hal. The police, the police are using their firearms to try to subdue the elusive Mr. Duke, but so far, to little effect. This emergency hearing is now in session. Roscoe, where is everybody? Well, we have till noon. Roscoe, is anybody coming? I'm here. That's it, Roscoe. Court's adjourned. You give me your goddamn driver's license. Hey, Roscoe! We got some people here who might like to object to this strip mining issue. Well, you're too late, Bo. It's 12.02 hog standard time, and y'all just missed the vote. Freeze! Hold it right there! Then, of course, there's that, too. Well, we tried. Yep, came close. You know, I never even asked you. You win the race? Plan B? Hey, the prison. You think they'll let you be my bunkie? Rick Shakely coming what? through. Hey, nice driving, stranger. How does it feel to take down Billy Prickett? Rick Shakely. Hey, that's Rick Shakely. Hey, Feels pretty damn good to win that race, Rick. But what I really want to talk about is strip mining. How many of y'all know what that is?
Coal produces trace elements of arsenic and mercury. This produces sulfuric acid, which is responsible for the formation of sulfate aerosol and acid rain. Which brings me to my next point. I don't... I want you to see what they did to my car. I want you to arrest them two criminals right there. My pleasure. Huh? Are you really going to strip mine hazard, Mr. Hogg? Who is this? Are you going to steal our land and make it all polluted? Nice knowing you, Hogg. Hmm? Governor Applewhite, what is your role in this boondoggle? Oh, as you know, I've always been a great friend to the environment, and I am shocked and saddened to learn of this. But I can assure you here and now that there will never be strip mining in beautiful Hazard County. Jim Applewhite is a friend to Hazard. <laughs> These boys are criminals. Honest to go. 